I'm told that these days, even the mayor also, when they are selling some land, they are also aware. So they see someone building here, building there, and they say, ah, but why is the person who build? That one saw me. Participants from Busoga and Bugisu regions convened in Jinja district for the consultations on the ongoing draft national land policy by the Minister of Lands. The participants included RDCs, cultural leaders, religious leaders, political leaders, stakeholders from the local and central government. They were drawn from the 18 districts of Jinja, Kamuli, Sironko, Luka, Namutumba, Namayingo, Bududa, Bulambuli, Manafa, Namisindwa, Wiende, Kaliro, and Butaleja, among others. With amendments of the Act, mm. instead they are coming up with, at times, misguiding and contradicting guidelines. Yeah. For instance, I was the chairman of Land Board of the Gota Jinja at the inception of the city. And I live within the jurisdiction of the city. This is a situation where they disbanded us as this land board and instead recruited people from Kampala, hybrid persons. The consultation meeting was opened by the State Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Persis Namuganza. Namuganza tasked participants to tackle all land issues affecting the two regions, especially land evictions. Like the government, we want to come up with the affordable housing, houses, whereby we want to introduce the rent-to-own model. We are discussing it at the cabinet level. The most common land conflicts faced by the people of Busoga and Bugisu region arise from boundary discrepancies, inheritance conflicts, and illegal land occupancy by intruders. The issue of vulnerability, we don't understand what, we, uh, what we, um, vulnerability means. Vulnerability is not only women, even the men. So you need to give it much more thought. We should be emphasizing vulnerability of all. Land in the two regions is held under various tenure systems including freehold, leasehold and customary tenure. This is said to have steered pressure on land resources, calling for need for policy reforms. The in the ten years, we've been able to process an issue of... Uh, 80,000 freehold land titles in the districts of Jinja, Kamuli, Mayuge, and Namutumba, and Luka. The acting director land administration at the Ministry of Lands, Naome Kabanda, emphasized the importance of public participation in revising the national land policy. We are trying to move an amendment under the Land Act to encompass the cities and I think in the next version they will have seen because they are having a lot of challenges now they have realized they cannot manage cities when it comes to land matters. Consultations into the draft policy present a crucial step towards creating a more equitable and effective land policy for community stability. Susan Naonga reporting for UBC TV.